What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be using an adaptability Dragology team for Series 2 Master Tier. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But like I mentioned, we're using Dracology today. I used them in Series 1. It was definitely very strong, but I used them without the adaptability ability, which makes this Pokemon 10 times stronger. It doubles its stat moves, so this thing can hit like an absolute truck. But we got Arcanine in the top left-hand corner to get us started here with today's team preview. And if you guys have been playing this game, you guys know Arcanine is just a solid Pokemon for any team. It's got Will-O-Wisp, it's got Heat Wave, it has Protect and Snarl, alongside with that Intimidate ability and the Citrus Berry as its item. I'm telling you guys, Arcanine, one of the easiest Pokemon to use as well. And it's just so it's just so good. It is just so good. I used to use them all the time in BDSP, and it used to be top tier. Iron Bundle is going to be our second Pokemon, and Iron Bundle, this one, is a little bit different. This one has Quirk Drive and a Booster Energy, pretty normal on that side, but its moveset's a little different than most. It's got Blizzard, Aurora Veil, Hydro Pump, and Protect. And this is because we could pair it up with our fourth Pokemon, Obama Snow. Obama Snow can set the snow, allowing Iron Bundle to hit 100% of its Blizzards, and landing Aurora Veil to set up both a Light Screen and Reflect at the same time. Bomb of Snow's got the Focus Sash as its item, it's got Protect, it's got Blizzard, it's got Energy Ball, and Earth Power for its moveset. Loving that combo, cannot wait to showcase it for you guys in today's video. Iron Hand's gonna be our fourth Pokemon, Iron Hand's top tier Paradox Pokemon. Really can't go wrong with that guy, great all around, has Fake Out, can hit like a truck, loving it. It's got Quirk Drive and the Soul Vest as its item, Fake Out, Drain Punch, Volt Switch, and Wild Charge for an amazing moveset. Dracology is going to be our fifth Pokemon, the heart and soul of the team for today's video, with adaptability and the safety goggles. It's got Sludge Bomb and Draco Meteor, which is both of its stab moves. It's got Haze to counter Don Dozo team, then it's got Terror Blast, which will change into Flying because that's its Terror type. Great Tusk is going to be our final Pokemon, and this Great Tusk, a little bit different, but really cool at the same time. It's got Protosynthesis and a Choice Scarf. This is my first time using a Choice Scarf Great Tusk, so I feel like it's definitely going to throw off some opponents when we outspeed them with this Pokemon. And it's Ice Spinner, Headlong Rush, EQ, and Close Combat for its moves. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to grab some wins with this Series 2 Dragology team. We're hopping into match number one. And we're going up against a T Tar team with Glamora, Arcanine, Grimmsnarl, Corviknight, and last but not least, Mimikyu. So it could pop the trick on Mim Mimikyu, but I don't really see that happening. But they also have T Tar, which could counter our weather. I really want to go into the Obama Snow Deli Bird combo, but them having T Tar alone is kind of scary. So with that, maybe we won't bring Obama Snow, or maybe we should just bring it in the back end just to counter his weather. I like it. I definitely like it. So I'm going to lead Deli Bird here. Love my little iron bundle alongside with the Pokemon like, hmm. Alongside with maybe Iron Hands? I mean, Fake Out's going to be good. Intimidate would do us dirty, but I don't know. Do I go Dragalgy turn one? Dragalgy's not bad. I say we rock out with Dragalgy. Get that Pokemon rolling out here. And maybe we might just swap into a bomb stone. I think we'll just show Dragalgy. Hmm. But I don't want to lead a bomb stone just in case he leads a T-Tar, you know? Is that my plan? Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to bring Gouji. We're going to bring Obama. So, and then last but not least, I think the Choice Scarf Great Tusk is going to do some work. I really do like that Pokemon. Or I could bring an Arcanine. I like the Choice Scarf Pokemon for back end. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a match or win here in match number one. But guys, my throat's still a little bit scratchy. Definitely going to be coughing a little bit in today's video. But it's all good. We are so close to being full back 100%. I say like one or two more videos, then I'm going to be back. But still, hopefully you guys are enjoying the content and liking up today's video. But Grimstar and Glamora does come out here. Um, That's not bad. That's not terrible. I mean, I could just KO that, right? I could just go for a Hydro Pump here, which I'm kind of leaning towards. Not swapping into Bomb Snow yet. I'm kind of leaning towards just doing that and just ripping this thing with a Sludge Bomb. And then swapping in Obama Stone maybe next turn. I think I like that the best, right? He goes for a Thunder Wave. He is going to slow me down. That's fine. I mean, I can deal with that. No screen so far. That's fine by me. We might still be able to outspeed Lamora. Hydro Pump comes out and we do out still outspeed this thing. And we just tank that thing down to red. Which is awesome. This thing is going to Toxic me, which is kind of weird. I'm a Poison type. And you're allowed to Toxic me? A little weird, but it's all good. I, I don't mind that too much. I don't mind that too much. Sludge Bomb's gonna fly here. Probably KO you, right? Yeah. Adaptability of Dragology is insanely strong. So, 
like I mentioned in today's team preview, adaptability doubles your stab damage. So stab is usually same typing attack boost. So my poison move, since I am a poison type, usually do 1.5 times the, the normal damage. But since I have adaptability, it does double, which is amazing. So he ends up going into... He ends up going into Corviknight. And I think from here, this is just an easier War Veil setup, right? And swap out Dragalge. And use that thing for later. I mean, I can use Dragalge again here and then swap him next turn. And you know what? I kind of want this out here right, right here right now. We're going to do that. We're going to swap into Obama Snow. Lovely little Obama Snow. We're going to swap into. I have a weird feeling Corv Knight's either going to Tailwind or set up an Iron Defense, which could be awful for us. I would hate that. <coughs> Gamora goes for a Spiky Shield. That's a fine turn for us then. That's a fine turn for us. So that's just basically a Protect, but a better one. Of course, I'm paralyzed and I cannot set up my Iron Bell. That's all I wanted this turn. And Iron Defense does get set up. So he's out here popping Iron Defenses. Aurora Bell is an absolute must for us to set up. I'm going to bulk up with that. And then I'm just going to throw a Blizzard out here. Maybe look for a Freeze and get rid of Glamora. It's a solid little play for us. I like it. Two turns in a row? What you mean? Bruh, two turns in a row I'm losing to Paralyze. And watch, now he's going to bring out T-Tar. Now he's going to bring out T-Tar. It's going to ruin everything for me. Body Press comes out here. And he's going to get a super effective shot off onto me. That hurts, man. That hurts right there. Two turns. Okay, Arcanine's coming out here. Okay, I can deal with Arcanine. I can deal with Arcanine. So Arcanine's gonna come out here, intimidate me. I have my my what's called for that. So I do like that. I have my boy for that. I mean, I really want to go for a Hydro Pump here now. But I am gonna set up a Aurora Bell. I was gonna say, I do have my uh my great tusk for that. Arcanine ends up protecting. I'm not going for Hydro Pumps. I've been trying to land a Roar Bell these past two turns. And I'm paralyzed again! What is going on here? Now I'm dead. Now I am... RNG, help me, please. Please. Three turns. Give me a freeze at least. Help me out here. Mind blown. Mine is blown. Bruh. Dude, like, you can't make this stuff up. You cannot make this stuff up. You cannot make this stuff up. Okay, so from here, do I bring out Dragalge? I could Haze. I could definitely Haze, which could be really good for us. I could definitely Haze, which I think I'm going to do. I still have Focus Ash, which is nice for us. Haze could come out here. I know we're toxic, and it's kind of annoying. But this is where I Haze, and I get rid of all the uh, stat changes. I just keep throwing Blizzards around. Just trying to get rid of this Corviknight, because I'm not worried about the Arcanine too much. I'm only worried about the Corviknight. Snarl's gonna come out here. That's a smart little play. Maybe I should just double down here. But I think he's gonna Roost, right? Roost is definitely an option. But he's on the ground now, which means I can hit him with a ground move. He's Roosted, so I can hit him with a ground move. I do outspeed. And we're just gonna get rid of his defensive boost. So all stat changes are gone. Uh, what do I do from here? Do I just double down to Corvo? I mean, I'm not really going to do too much. I think I just started throwing Sludge Bombs into this thing. And I can Earth Power uh, him for free. Because when you roost, your flying types go to the ground. Aren't I right on that? Or did they change that? I could swear I, I they, they must have changed that. Wait a minute. I got to look that up. Doesn't roost bring him to ground? I get a crit. That's beautiful. So we take you out. We take you out. This thing's just boosting defenses. I'm gonna haze it again. Only on pure flying types, I think. I'm looking it up right now because I could have sworn that Roost does that. Roost, a flying type Pokemon. If a flying type Pokemon successfully uses Roost until the end of its turn, the flying. Oh, okay, it's until the end of its turn. Okay, never mind. Never mind. So if he would have used it before me, but since the turn ended, he goes back to flying. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. I'm going to haze this thing again. And it's not raining. It, or it's not snowing anymore. So I'm just going to drop another blizzard. I might, I, maybe I should swap. But blizzard still lands, which is great. Give me a freeze. Let me freeze this thing up. Body press coming out here. Can we eat? We do eat. And I'll get off a nice lovely haze. I go from there. So haze is out and about. I still have Terra. I still have my choice guard Pokemon in the back end, Which I can close combat with. As long as I keep this defense down. And I think I just haze him again, right? 
Just in case he wants to go into another one. I think we just keep, I think we just keep his defense low. Another blizzard comes out here. We're landing him. We're doing pretty good. And iron defense does come out here. We make the hard read on that, and we get rid of it with this haze before my Dragalge does die out here. That's pretty much GG's, right? That's pretty much GG's. We're going to keep his defense gone. My Dragalge should die out here to this Toxic. Correct? It does. And now I just bring out my Great Tusk, and I finish off the first battle with the close combat. It's a nice read from, from us from there, but still, this match should have been over a while ago. If I would have had a War Veil up, I could have had my Pokemon for way longer. Definitely could have had him for way longer. But I'm still upset that the Roost, that uh, I didn't know that about Roost. But it's good to figure it out now. But from here, I don't even have to use Terra. It's just a straight close combat into this thing. And then we try to throw a Blizzard, right? My Blizzards have been landing. A close combat comes out here. Game, set, match. 1-0 to your boy. We're dominating so far. Second match coming at you guys, and I'm disappointed in my Iron Bundle in that last match. Three turns lost to Paralyze. Hurts my heart. Definitely hurts my heart. But we're hopping into our second match. Looking to go back to back here. We're going up against a Fluttermane and Iron Bundle team with Mouse Hold and Annihilate. We all know that combo is super strong. And then they also have Great Tusk alongside with Arcanine. Who should I lead? How should I go into this? I think we might want to give our bundle another try here. Bundle could be solid. I could go bundle alongside with Iron Hands. But the thing is, Bundle really needs a Bomba Snow. Really works well with him. So who do I actually lead here? I could lead the Tusk. Tusk isn't too bad. Uh, they do have Fluttermane. They do have Iron Bundle of their own. I'm kind of just leaning towards the Weather combo here, which I kind of like. I kind of like Loki. But I'm scared of the Annihilate and the uh, Mouse Hole. Definitely, definitely a scary little, scary little combo. I'm going to bring Iron Hands in the back end, and then I'm just going to bring in the Great Tusk. The Great Tusk could be solid for us, so I definitely want him here. I definitely want him. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. I know what's called is going to be a problem, too. Fluttermane. Fluttermane's a problem. It's a problem. Maybe I should have brought in Dragology to kind of counteract that, but Dragology's really slow. It's really slow, but it hits like a truck. You guys seen it in first match. Dropping Sludge Bombs left and right, hitting real hard. Let's see where opponent ends up leading. It's going to be Fluttermane and Arcanine. Okay, so Intimidate's going to come out here. That's no problem. I could just Hydro Pump the Arcanine slot down if I want to. Uh, what is the play here? I mean, it could protect as well. Do I just allow it to protect? And do I set up an Aurora Veil? Aurora Veil could be nice. It could be real nice. We Quark Drive up for a booster energy. Lovely, huge. And I think we're just going to set up the Aurora Veil. Because I think Arcanine has a chance of protecting here. And I just throw a Blizzard out and about just to try to get some freezes and chip up the damage on the Flutter main. Seems like the play. Seems like the play. So Arcanine is definitely scared. Iron Bundle on the field, I'd be scared too. I'm hoping he protects or withdraws this turn. Which I can see a withdrawal too, considering it resets its Intimidate. Would just be a smart play. So I want the Veil out here. I want the bulkiness for the squad. Come on, man. Make a move. Make a move. Waiting for it. I do, I do think a withdrawal is coming here. I mean, what are you going to do? Stay in here and Snarl? That is an option. He is going to stay in here, and I think Snarl. Roar Veil is out and about. Pretty solid. And Gleam's going to fly here. So, of course you get... What is up with my bundle today? Of course you get a crit on my Iron Bundle. And now you get off a free Snarl, right? What, what's going on here? Where was? I'm dead. That is absurd. The definition of absurd right there. That is absurd. That is absurd, and we all know that. Wow. Whoa, that's painful. That is so painful. That is that is too painful, first and foremost. Too painful. That is too painful right there. I cannot believe that you just got a crit on my boy. But from here, I'm thinking of just ripping a Drain Punch into this Pokemon. And then just Terrasalizing and Headlong Rushing. Right into you, correct? I have the choice scarf. And the reason I want to is to just make sure I pick up the KO. Get rid of this thing. Just dump on it. That is awful, man. I wouldn't mind just losing my Obama Snow. That's fine. Which one's Arcanine? Who are you going to go into? Go into like Mouse Horn. You're going to go into Great Tusk. I can deal with that. But yo, I can deal with losing like my Obama Snow that turn. But losing both to something that shouldn't have happened. It's awful. You get a crit on Dazzle Gleam. I eat that up all day. And I end up losing both Pokemon because of it. 
So now I'm in a hole. Iron Bundle's having a rough, a rough outing today. Real rough outing. He's gonna Terra. I'm gonna Terra. I outspeed and he does not know that. He does not know I have that choice scarf right locked and loaded. Oh, you're dead. You are so dead. You are so dead. And you're wasting your Terra. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that free, that free KO. Let's be outspeeding you. Little choice scarf action. No one's expecting the, the choice scarf on this Pokemon. See you later, Fluttermane. Get that thing on out of here. Get it on out of here. See you later. See you later. Now we get off a nice little Drain Punch. We're not faking out. He's going to come back in with Intimidate, which kind of sucks. Maybe we get some crits and all that stuff. Maybe we can do that. Drain Punch coming in hot here. Getting off some nice damage. And he's just going to go right back into Arcanine. And he's going to Bundy. Which we might outspeed. This thing definitely has Sash. No, it's a booster energy. I wonder if we outspeed this thing. <coughs> I wonder if we outspeed it. I definitely want to wild charge that thing. I'm choosing this. We're going to go after you. We're going to see if this can actually KO this thing. It might not be able to. But if that thing outspeeds me, it just hits me with a... Oh, he protects. Cool. I was going to say, if he just hits me with a Hydro Pump, that's a problem. But I died in that. Headlong Rush coming out here. Can we KO? Please and thank you. Oh, yes, sir. Great Tuss. Yes, sir. Big time. Big time KO. Okay, so that's a big time KO there. That is a big time KO. Here comes the Intimidate. We already know he has Terra as well. Probably gonna terrestrialize his uh, Arcanine. Which I mean could be a problem. Intimidate's coming out here. I'm just gonna start throwing Drain Punches into that slot. And I'm gonna try to see if I can outspeed this Deli Deli Bird. Or I can double down in Deli Deli Bird. I'm gonna double down in Deli Deli Bird. That's my play all day. Do I Wild Charge to make sure it dies? I think Drain Punch can KO it. But I'm double down in Deli Deli Bird. I need this thing gone more than anything. Because it might outspeed my, uh... It does outspeed me. We're dead on that. We're dead to that. Yeah, we're minus two on special defense. I was going to say, if it outspeeds my Chewy Scarf Pokemon due to boost energy, then we need then we need to KO it. Dark Knight's going to go nap it. Of course it has play rough. But we're able to soak pretty well here. And Drain Punch going to fire. We're going to get HP back and not KO. Okay. Do I read a protect here? I feel like it might protect, correct? I feel like it has to protect. What if it protects? Arcanine is really not doing too much to us. I'm just going to constantly go after the Iron Bundle. There we go. Good call from us. Free strikes can come out here. Yo, Iron Bundle soaking. Iron Bundle came to play. Iron Bundle came to play. Or not Bundle. Iron Hands came to play. Bundle's doing awful, dude. Bundle is doing awful. Dang, dude, that one soaked that one up. What? I guess, uh, Intimidate? Why that one soaked that one so much? Now it's gonna protect. Now it's gonna protect. That's why it's soaking. It has the what's called. And I have the Warrior Bell. Now it definitely protects. It's definitely protecting this turn. Oh, no. Big mistake by us. We should just target that down. Boy, but it's coming in hot here. The Warrior Bell's gone. Oh, no. Can we get a crit here? Give me a crit. I know minus one. But he's gonna protect this turn when I go after it. Any way we can win this match. Wow, it's really coming down to it. It's really coming down to it. Maybe we should just wild charge that thing turn one. Freeze dry comes out here. We can soak that one, right? Hmm. Blair Blitz gonna KO us. Match number two. Definitely rough. We almost made the comeback. We almost made the comeback. I still think we lose that match even if, uh... We take out the Deli Bird, but it's all good. 1-1 one -on -one for today's video. Let's hop to a third. Grab ourselves that winning record. Final match coming at you guys. My Iron Bundle is just not doing well today. It's not doing well, but we need it to do well. We're going up against a back caliber team with Grimmsnarl, Water Tauros, King Gambit, Electros, which I love that Pokemon. Super cool. And then Fluttermane. What am I doing? How am I going into this? I feel like Dracology could be solid here. I like Dracology as lead. I like Dracology as lead. I'm going to end up leading Dracology. And could also lead the Tusk. 
and just go into my EQs, tear it into flying, kind of get in for the match that way. I'm about it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. We're going to go into them too. Try to get that rolling. I am going to bring, I think, the bundle and the snow combo, right? Could be good. Could definitely be good. I like it. You know, we're going to bring a bundle with the snow combo because he needs redemption. He needs redemption. And I'm tired of this. That's two battles in a row. He gets crit to death and he loses three turns paralyzed. So my boy's due for a big game. He's definitely due for a big game. But this iron bundle really only thrives with this Obama Snow. So if it was like a normal iron bundle, I would have not brought an Obama Snow. But since it kind of needs that Obama Snow to set up a war bell and land its wizards, I had to bring him in. But ends up going into these two, which I'm cool with. I really like that. I'm cool with that. I'm really cool with that. So from here, what I want to do is just pop a nice little sludge bomb in this slot. Actually, I'm going to terrestrialize and pop a sludge bomb in, into... No, not that slot. Hold up. Terrestrialize. Pop a sludge bomb into the Grimstone slot. And then I just have free EQs going. The freest of EQs. The freest. I like that turn. Really solid lead for us. I like this lead. I like this uh, combo right here. The Terra and the Flying have your gouge hit like a truck. Have my choice scarf. Uh, great toss doing work. Solid. Solid, solid, solid. So let's see what our opponent does here. Probably gonna Terra, right? Who you trash Anything but the. Actually, who are you gonna trash It's gotta be Gambit, right? Yeah. But Gambit's gonna Terra into. Oh, or. <laughs> oh, okay. You got flying here as well. Smart little cookie pie. But uh, it's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine, I guess. He doesn't really know which we scarfed anyway. So I wonder what he's gonna do. Probably set up a light or reflect. Kind of hoping it's a light just so my my uh, physical attackers can do more. Actually, he's gonna fake me out. He went to fake me out. He's gonna he's gonna he's gonna ter uh, terror blast me. This could be bad. Assurance comes out here. Okay. And you KO with that? Hold up. You KO with that? I know it does a more damage uh, when you uh, get hit first, but still. You KO me with that? Okay. I, I, I'll, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I think from here, we can just bring out you. Guaranteed blizzards. And I could swap my... Uh, I should have I should have used... I should have did it vice versa. I should have did a vice versa, but I can throw a blizzard here. I could EQ if I want to. But I just think swapping him for later is going to be good. I should have did it the other way because Iron Bundle is going to hit a little bit harder here. So I should have put out the Iron Bundle and then swapped into the snow. And then popped the blizzard. But yeah, we're going to save a great tusk for the back end. But dang, Jigalji goes down hard. Goes hard. So we're going to withdraw you. We are. I, th I still think we're fine. And we're going to bring out the bundle. The bundle. The one and only. Hopefully he's not having a rough outing again here. We need him to get some work done. The blizzard does come flying out here. Doing some nice damage. Lovely damage. He's going to false surrender. Nice lovely false surrender here. And then assurance is going to come out here. And KO me. Wow, I'm getting shredded. I'm getting shredded by this thing. But Iron Bundle can clean this one out with a blizzard. And I can go into Tusk. And I got to make a choice of what move do I want a choice into. Headlong Rush, maybe? I got to use other Pokemon. I think Headlong Rush is the play. Looking at his other Pokemon. It's got to be Headlong Rush. So I'm going to do that to that slot. And I'm also just going to blizzard. I'm not even going to set up a little bell. I'm just going to look to get off as much damage as I possibly can. So we have to protect that. I think he wants to set up shrooms here. Yep, Reflect comes out here. So that's not too bad considering I have one special attacker. Blizzard's just going to come out here. And Blizzard might KO. And I kind of want it to KO. I really do want it to KO. Which it does. That's huge. And the reason why it's huge is because now I'm going to miss my attack. And I'm not going to uh, minus my defense. Which is huge. Huge, huge. Not going to minus my defense stats. So I still have it here. We are thriving. We are thriving. I wouldn't say we're thriving, but we're we're sitting in a sitting in a, 
a winnable spot. So are they. I think this is just a solid battle all around. But yeah, Blizzard, 100% outspeeds. We headlong rush into Bax Caliber, and we just Blizzard across the board. We get a little Blizzard action. So we're going to say bye-bye to King Gambit here. I know it's probably going to sucker punch me. That's fine. You can do a little bit of damage to me. And there it is. And we eat pretty well. We eat pretty well. Blizzard's going to fly through here. Chunk up some nice damage. And headlong rush probably not going to KO due to Reflect being out and about. A little bit of a problem, but... We're doing, we're doing pretty good here. We're doing pretty good here. And headlong rush. Give me a crit, yo. Give me some RNG here. No. Oh, my God. Reflect. Reflect. Now he's just gonna he's just gonna he's just gonna kill my great tusk, right? What are you going after? Bundle. Bundle soaks that. I like that. I like that. Why would you do that? I'm a little confused on that. I'm a little confused on that. So my I still have speed here. Electros coming out here. He does not have Terra. And that thing does have levitate. It has levitate. I know it has levitate. So I'm just gonna do this and I'm just gonna push it across the board. That thing has levitate. We're going to lose this battle because of that. Give me a freeze on Electros. Give me a freeze on Electros. I'm choosing this thing, and this thing has levitate. If he KOs my bundle here with Electro Move, it's game, set, and match. Please, leave my leave my bundle alone. Frame punch. My heart. My soul. My heart and soul. Unless this one's not Levitate, but I think that's the only ability it learns. Let me give a quick look up. Let me give a quick look up. Electros. Let's see this little booger. It only learns Levitate. Man. Come on, man. Really gonna lose this way? We're still gonna go after it. Just to make sure. And there it is. Levitate. Clutching up. We're choosing this. We cannot change move strain punch. He's gonna slowly KO me. What a lucky little biscuit. What a lucky little biscuit. Such a lucky biscuit, man. Pain in the neck. We're going to go one and two for today's video. The snow stops. We cannot swap. We cannot change our move. It's all good. There you guys go. One and two for today's video. Probably should have picked up another win in match number two or in match number three. Match number two, Iron Bundle died out to a crit. Can't really do much about that. And then the third and final battle, Hurt Soul because we lose to an ability. We lose to that Levitate ability. Great Tusk cannot hit the Electros. Electros just ends up taking out my Great Tusk. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread this positive day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.